Special Health Matters report tonight. There is a potentially deadly bacteria you could be passing to your children, and you may not even know it. Doctors say it's preventable, but still remains one of the most common diseases of childhood, tooth decay. And it is five times more common than asthma or hay fever. 13 Wham's Alexis Arnold found how it is spread and what you can do to prevent it. Already at the age of five, Amari James has had four cavities. Let's see, is the one next door wiggly too? It kind of makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do to take care of her dental hygiene. Amari's mom, Siobhan Alvarado, says she's never had a problem with her teeth and makes sure her children brush daily. But even so, Dr. Ellie Phillips says some parents can do everything right and may unknowingly pass bacteria to their children, bacteria that can cause cavities and tooth decay. The studies in 1970 were done where they actually determined that it was from the mother's mouths. And now with the DNA testing, they can actually show that it is usually mothers when they kiss and cuddle and share food with the babies, taste, you know, or lick the pacifier, that their bacteria are actually being transferred to the child's first tooth. Spreading quickly. I would say it's almost a pandemic because it's now out of control. The CDC says 42% of children ages 2 to 11 have cavities in baby teeth. 21% of children ages 6 to 11 have cavities in adult teeth. And if left unattended, pediatric dentist with the Eastman Oral Institute, Dr. Aaron Shope, says it can lead to severe consequences. Worst case I've seen has been a young child, say three or four years of age, who out of the 20 teeth that they had, all 20 had cavities to the point that we could not save the teeth. So we had to take all the teeth out. The impact can also be deadly. They can spread to the brain um, sometimes or to the area around the heart and those can be life threatening. It's a problem George Eastman saw decades ago. The reason why he created the Eastman Institute for Oral Health, helping families who didn't have the financial means. But it's not just an urban issue. It's a problem in the suburbs, too. We have a fair amount of kids here in the office with decay. Dr. Melissa Bellino with the Elmwood Dental Group in Brighton says there's a common assumption about baby teeth. Sometimes there's a misconception that in children, oh, it's just baby teeth. They'll get another set. Well, the baby teeth serve as space maintainers. So once you start losing baby teeth too early, it can create a whole lot of problems in the mouth. Problems, Dr. Phillips says, can be prevented, but not by flossing, fluoride, or sealants, but with one product, xylitol, a sugar substitute that can be found in some chewing gum and mints. Even if the baby teeth are damaged, you can get children on this program, change the bacteria, and then when the new adult teeth come through in kindergarten. While xylitol is recognized by the American Academy of Pediatrics and some research shows that it can help fight cavities, some dentists say more research is needed. And it's not a substitute for practicing good hygiene, something Alvarado says she is making sure little Amari is doing to make sure her teeth are healthy for years to come. Make sure she's brushing twice a day. Um, I have lowered down the snacks, the candy, snacks only after dinner, that's it. Alexis Arnold, 13 Wham News. And then brush your teeth before you go to bed. Uh, dentists now recommend that children see a dentist uh, by the age of one instead of the age of three and start using toothpaste with fluoride by the time the child's first tooth comes in. For more information about childhood tooth decay, head to 13wham.com.